Hi, I'm Phil Story from Glow, and we're on a mission to help businesses do more with their website. Before we start with today's video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also check out our website for more helpful tips and advice. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to install a new plugin onto your WordPress website. WordPress powers about 35% of the entire internet. And if the website for your business runs on WordPress, then you'll likely see a number of plugins installed. In short, plugins extend the out-of-the-box functionality on WordPress. They basically let you do more with your website. There's plugins for just about everything related to websites and marketing. For extra tips, check out our video on the things to look out for when installing a plugin. If you're maintaining your own website, you might be wondering, how do you install a plugin? Before you get started, ask yourself, does the website really need this plugin? Is it going to help us achieve our goals with our website? Knowing the answers to these questions is important because you could quickly fill up your website with unnecessary plugins that slow it down. If you're sure you need it, then here's how to install one. Step one, log in to your website. Sounds obvious, but you do need to be logged into your WordPress website in order to install a new plugin. So log in and then find the plugins item from the main left hand menu. Step two, click add new. So once you've clicked into the plugins page, there's a little button at the top that says add new. You'll find it just next to where it says plugins. Step three, find the plugin that you want to add. So let's say you're adding a plugin so that you can display a contact form on your website. Go to the search box in the top right corner and type form. This will display lots of results of form plugins. Check out our video on what to look for when installing a plugin. When you've found one you'd like to install, click the install now button next to the name of the plugin. This will take a few seconds and then the button will change to activate. It's important to note that once you've installed a plugin, it won't do anything until you activate it. So you must make sure you click the button again once it says activate. And that's it. Once you've activated the plugin, it'll appear somewhere in the main left hand menu of WordPress. They're not always immediately obvious, so be sure to check the settings and the tools menus to see if the page for the new plugin is hiding in one of those. So to recap, plugins are great for making your WordPress website do more. But remember, ask yourself if you really need to add the plugin before you do. Often, a web developer can write some code that will achieve the same thing as a plugin does, so check with them first too. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel or check out our website for more tips just like this.